Merry Christmas, everyone. How are you doing today? I hope you are celebrating Christmas in good health. My name is Onyinye Ude, and if today is your first time of seeing my video, then you are welcome. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the most delicious Christmas stew. Let's get started. So for the stew, I am using this hard pan. Okay, it's very tasty. I'm going to wash it and then we will start cooking. So one trick in making a tasty Nigerian stew lies on how tasty your stock is, your protein. How tasty the stock is. So we are going to season this meat properly. It can be fish. We are going to season it properly. I'm going to add salt and bouillon this is salt and bouillon so if you want your stew to be tasty make sure that the broth is delicious okay that is one secret in making nigerian stew so here we have some spices dry spices i have curry powder and this is um rosemary and the garlic and ginger powder all right you can add any spices of your choice but make sure that you add them in smaller quantities okay in smaller quantity don't add too much so now i'm going to add the blended pepper mix that will blended onions pepper fresh ginger fresh garlic okay we're gonna make the broth taste that is one secret in making a tasty delicious nigerian stew i am going to cover the pot and let the meat cook in its own broth okay before adding water we need water because this chicken is a hard chicken okay So in our video today, I am showing you how to make the most delicious, tasty stew ever, okay? There are tricks to it. And the first one, as I said, is how you seasoned your broth, your protein, okay? Already we have started cooking our meat and I've added more water because the meat, because the chicken, is a hard chicken and it needs a lot of water to cook so now the second trick is how you treat your tomatoes today i am using tomato puree i'm not using fresh tomatoes in most of my cooking here in america i use tomato puree so uh, i have the tomato here okay you have to fry it properly to make a delicious stew, tomato stew, you have to bring out time, whether it is a fresh tomato or tinned tomato like I'm using, fry it with oil properly until it is dried and the oil starts settling on top of it, okay? Fry it properly. It's going to take a little time, but it works all the time. So this is my tomato. 
and this is the onions I am going to be using. I have three ingredients in this particular set, in this particular cooking. In preparing the tomatoes, I have just three ingredients, the vegetable oil, the tomato itself, and the onions. I'm going to add bay leaf. So let's get cooking. Ordinarily, I supposed to slice these onions, but I'm going to cut it in halves and then blend it. The reason is that I have picky kids, so and I'm supposed to use onions. So what I do is to blend it with vegetable oil and not water. You blend your onions. If you are the type that doesn't want to eat onions or see onions in your food, you blend it the way I'm going to do now. Okay, and put it in your food. So I have picky kids, so I'm going to blend it. This is how I make my stew in my home. I blend the onions with vegetable oil. So I'm going to add put the, the onions. Let's add our oil. Remember, we have oil in the tomato in the onions. Okay, but when you are frying stew, you need oil to fry it. When you are frying tomatoes, you need oil. To fry it properly. I'm going to add a blended onion. bay leaf and curry powder if you don't want too much spices you can do with the one you have in your protein okay and it will still come out very tasty I'm going to let the onions fry properly before adding the tomatoes At this point, it's translucent. Okay, so I'm going to add the tomatoes. This is how to make a delicious, tasty stew that is not tangy. it up allow the tomatoes to dry properly the oil will start popping up not this particular oil because it's going to simmer it's going to cook and the oil will change color when it's dry it will start settling on top of the tomatoes then you know it is time to add your protein or your broth all right if you add this if you add it at this point it's going to taste it's not going to taste good okay so allow the tomatoes to cook so i'm going to cover the pot to prevent it from splashing so let's check the tomatoes look at that I lowered the stove because it's splashing so this is what we are looking for as you can see the oil has changed color it's now red I 
and they started settling on the tomatoes. At this point, the tomato is properly fried. Okay. You can now add the broth and it will taste good. Okay. So I'm going to add our broth from the chicken. Promise you, if you follow this step, your stew will come out very tasty, like a professional cook. So now that I've added the broth, I'm going to taste it before seasoning. I have bouillon and salt. Just added the broth. I'm gonna add the meat later. Okay. Let the broth simmer very well before we add the meat so it doesn't overcook. Our stew is ready. Okay, if you notice all the oil has disappeared before it looks like it was too much but it has disappeared okay so we still have a little that is settling to compare with when i started so now it is ready i've allowed it to simmer let's put our meat it back again the next time I open it we dish our food so today we prepared a delicious chicken stew in this recipe I showed you tricks on how to make a delicious Nigerian chicken stew and now our stew is ready let's cover it up and let it simmer then we are done for today so our stew is ready we use stew to eat white rice you can dip your bread in it it's ready Look at our tomato stew. Look at it. Look at it. It's super tasty. If you follow the step I taught you today, you'll be making a delicious stew. We've come to the end of this video. I want you to subscribe, share this video. Comment, comment, and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye, and remember blessed. We used to, to eat rice, you can also use it to eat your bread.